Published 1811 Eastern Standard Time, the 20th of February 2018. Updated 1811 Eastern Standard Time, the 20th of February 2018. Zach Clough's first goal for Bolton since returning to the club gave the hosts an invaluable 1-0 win and they were Skybet Championship relegation scrap with Sunderland. There was a hint of controversy about Clough's 17th-minute effort as Chris Coleman's visitors insisted the striker converted with a hand. But referee David Coote waved aside protests and without ever looking convincing Wanderers pushed the Black Cats closer to the second-tier trapdoor. Zach Clough of Bolton celebrates scoring the winning against Sunderland at Macron Stadium. Clough appeared to push the ball into the Sunderland goal with his arm but it went unnoticed. Full Parkinson's side are now seven points clear of Coleman's bottom place team and up to 19th. Brentford did the double over Birmingham with a 5-0 thrashing to cement their playoff hopes and edge Blues nearer the championship drop zone. Two Ollie Watkins goals, one each from Florian Joseph Zoon and Neil Maupe and a Mark Roberts own goal saw the Bees romp to an emphatic win in a scoreline that flattered Birmingham. It was a nightmare first return to Griffin Park for Blues trio Harley Dean, Maxime Collin and Joe Turf, who all moved on August transfer deadline day. It could have been a night to rival the host 9-0 record win over Wrexham in 1963 but for a string of David Stockdale saves and some lacklustre finishing. Middlesbrough returned to within two points of the playoff places as they plunged hull deeper into the relegation mire at the Riverside. Rudy Gersted claimed his second and third league goals of the season as Borough ran out comfortable 3-1 winners, Patrick Bamford with a side as other goal on the stroke of half-time. Burton lifted themselves off the bottom of the table with a crucial win over Barnsley Having bemoaned his side's limp attacking efforts in their weekend defeat to Cardiff. Middlesbrough manager Tony Pullis will have been delighted with a much brighter display inspired by Adama Traore. There is not much cause for positivity in the Hull camp and while Evandro's equaliser towards the end of the first half briefly threatened to dent Middlesbrough's superiority, the visitors finished well beaten. As a result, they are only out of the relegation zone on goal difference. Millwall climbed into the top half of the championship after coming from behind to beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-1. Rudy Gested left celebrate his second goal with Adama Traoré and George French Pelupesi opened the scoring with his first goal for the Owls three minutes before the break. But second-half efforts from Lee Gregory and Steve Morrison handed Millwall all three points. Lee Tomlin scored Nottingham Forest's first home league goal since December 9 to salvage a point in a 1-1 draw with Reading. Omar Richards' first career goal looked likely to earn Reading a vital three points late in the first half but on loan Tomlin broke his duck for the Reds five minutes from time to end the run of five straight home league defeats.